A rib in wrestling is a practical joke. Owen found his ribs out of nature. For example, he was great on the telephone. He would call one of the wrestlers in the middle of the night at a hotel and, and impersonate the front desk person. You get a call, someone claiming to be from the front desk saying my credit card was declined. It's three o'clock in the morning, I'm in bed, I've already paid for this room with it. No, sir, we're gonna call the police. So I go, okay. So I head down to the, to the front desk. The wrestler would end up at three or four o'clock in the morning, pounding on the front desk, screaming at the guy who had no idea what was going on because Owen's the one that called him. You may get mad for a second, but then you had to realize it's Owen and it's funny. I got the front phone calls too. He could call and take his dad. It, uh, no, yeah, Owen's, uh, he broke his leg, uh, skiing. I didn't know, I thought it was Stu called him the bad news. And then, of course, Owen started laughing. He was pixie-ish. He had the gleam in his eye. And, and he was pulling pranks or winding people up. So Dad uh, was interested in getting pizza. So he calls a number, and uh, he puts in the order. About 30 minutes later, his friend walks in the door, and he says, hey, we should get a pizza. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we should get a pizza. So he pretends to phone again, and he's like, yeah, I'll get the, you know, short crust, thin crust, pepperoni pizza with extra this and that. And uh, then, of course, the pizza shows up a minute and a half later, and the guy's like, fuck, did you cook that in your car? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a practical joke. I mean, he was the king when it came to actual, like, humorous things. One time we were jogging, and there was this big group of runners just passing us and Owen was just a little bit ahead of me and then just as they were passing us he looked back and he yelled and he's like will you quit chasing me I told you I don't want to go out with you <laughs> and I was just like oh my god I was so embarrassed many years ago there was a hog pen match so we're at the arena and they had just delivered these pigs to the arena and the guy from the truck says so where would you like these pigs and Owen's like oh Follow me, I'll show you where to get them. And they escort the pigs into Vince's office. Vince walks into his office. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in there. Like three seconds later, Vince comes out of the office yelling, oh, Ed! If we were doing interviews, I'd have Davy Boy Smith on one side, Owen Hart on the other side. While I'm talking, Owen would reach down and he'd shoot me in the, in the crotch with the water bottle, where on camera it looked like I'd pissed my pants. I don't know this because I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> He, he, he would find things in nature that he could mess with people about. And he would just, he was a prankster. And it was, it was funny and it was fun. It wasn't destructive with Owen. I remember having a match where it's me and Owen, and I'm particularly stiff. And Owen's going, calm down, kid, calm down. I'm like, I'm just nervous for some reason, I don't know why. So Owen just starts wrestling me, just putting me in and out of holds. Puts chin lock on me and goes, look down at your boot. Look down, my boot's unlaced. How'd that happen? So, go forward, rest around again, rest around again, snap mare, chin lock, look at your other boot. My other boot's unlaced, how did this? I know I laced my boots, this never happens to me. Tuck my boot laces back down again, wrestle, 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 snap mare, puts me a headlock in, I, I look, my boot, nothing, he goes, look at the referee, look at the referee, the referee's shoe's untied. When I look at the referee's shoe, I started giggling. And he goes, are you relaxed now? He goes, now let's go wrestle. And at that point, he could rib you, he could love you, he could play a joke on you all at the same time in front of 20,000 people and no one would ever know it. That's how good he was.